In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to display some text on the screen. Now, the first thing you need to do is enter the commands to activate the text window, and it's simply called text window. As I was typing, you'll probably notice that this little box popped up and some options appeared. If I delete the text and start typing again, you'll see it appears. Now, if I press tab on the keyboard, it automatically finishes off the text for me. I'm going to press full stop now, and what full stop allows me to do is access the operations and the methods and all the things that text window can do. In this case, we've got lots of options. We've got background color, clear, uh, cursor left, cursor top, foreground color, lots of options. Now the one that I'm interested in is right line. I'm using the up and down key on the keyboard to navigate through them. And I can do that and hit tab once I've found one. Or I can write it out myself. And as I write it, you'll see it highlights out. I can start writing it and then press tab to finish, finish it off. And uh, things like that. In order to display some text, I need to supply right line with the information it needs uh, to know what to display. In this case, right line needs to know what text we want to display. In order to do this, I need to have an open and close bracket like this, and inside the open and close bracket, I need to put some text. In this case, I'm going to say hello world. The text needs to be surrounded by quotation marks. All text in your programs must always be surrounded by quotation marks. And all methods, all operations, all instructions in Small Basic must always be surrounded by brackets. Now, in this case, Hello World has got a special name. It is text, but because it's inside these brackets, we call it a parameter. And a parameter is passed to right line uh, to tell it what it what you want to display. So if I press run now, what should happen is it says hello world. I can get it to display more text if I want to, just by simply doing the command again. Maybe goodbye. Okay. Notice I've written the command in the exact same way with the exact same open and close brackets and the quotation marks around my text. So I'm going to run that again. You can see it now says hello world and goodbye.